Welcome back, Snoop Troop. Today, it's my first video of February, and you know it's Black History Month, and I wanted to do, I want to do some black restaurant stuff, but, you know, a lot of them serve a lot of the same stuff, or at least the same stuff that I'm going to order, but I did go and grab some for at least my first video. I'll try to check out some other ones for the rest of the month. I thought about going to Popeye's too, because I don't know if it's black owned, but it's definitely black operated, at least in most of the spots I haven't seen. So I went to a place called Michaud's. I'll have to put it up there, because I don't know how it's pronounced. I asked um, Taylor, shout out to Taylor on your 10K. I don't know what this is, some sort of bread. I'm just playing this is some cornbread, which I'm not going to eat this, so. I'll give it to the needy. But, oh my goodness. Now, if there's ever a meal that's going to make somebody hungry, it is this one. I can grab a thumbnail out of this. I'm going to do a Dalvin. Or a Mr. Beast. Sorry, right, Mr. Trump, but um, I've never actually, let me just go ahead and pray because I want to try this. I got the mac and cheese, the oxtails, and the greens. I don't know if we said this on camera, but um, outside of a uh, Jamaican restaurant, I've never had oxtail. Me and um, Taylor, Taylor tried to make some one time, but we was in kind of a rush, so um, we didn't cook them as long as we should have. But she left them overnight and said they was delicious. So I'm going to try some southern ones. These ain't the Jamaican ones. Um, and let y'all know how I feel about it. Because, yeah, we don't do this. At least where I'm from, we, I never heard of doing oxtails. So let me go ahead and get a... And I got my little setup. But let's see. Thank you, Lord, for this food I'm about to receive. Amen. And I was trying to do this video with Levante, but I'm in my car. He in the house. He said his coochie hurt today, so. I don't want to. <laughs> You're going to be mad. Mad as. But. Whatever. Let me see that. I love being able to. Find. A lot of uh, southern cooking. Because back in the A, we ain't got a lot. So let me go ahead and try this mac and cheese. Because if you've been watching me for a while. And anyway, while you're here, sub follow me on YouTube. Ellie Carson, like, share, and subscribe. I always forget to say that. I need to keep a note with me. But I want to go ahead and try this macaroni. Because I'm a macaroni and cheese connoisseur. And I'm a, a, a snob, not connoisseur, snob. Let's say that. Michaud's. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that. It's not bad. It's not bad whatsoever. Um, actually, probably the best I've had. It's kind of remind me of my Auntie Linda's. My Auntie Linda's Mac. Mm. Yeah, there's some good stuff. I'll definitely be back here for the Mac alone. Oh my goodness. They got the Cheese on top, which is my favorite part. Mmm. I'm rocking with Michelle's. Michelle? Maybe somebody in the comments can do like a little... How they do those pronunciation things on the... Now, I thought about either getting doing cabbage or 
greens. Because I like mine with meat in it. Pause. Um, like, my brother makes some real good stuff. But they, yeah, and like neck bones and stuff, this just seemed like it leaves. So we'll see. I'm not big on greens unless it's got meat in it, though. And this is actually fire. With no meat. Um, the last few times I had greens, it's too spicy. This has got... Mmm. I may have to rethink my thoughts on greens. That was actually pretty good. Not for the oxtail. I've only had the Jamaican jerk kind or whatever in Taylor's, so... I saw DJ Vlad say... This is the best meat ever. He said, keep your steaks, your Wagyu, your fillets. It's oxtail. So I'm like, mmm. Is it that good? It is fall off the bone. I barely had to bite that. This should be a real good sandwich. I'm rocking with this. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see why this is $39.99. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is premature because I've only ever been to a few southern restaurants in Houston. And I. They were all just so so. But this tastes like home cooked. Every, all of this. <clears throat> and I'm not even being Keith Lee. I'm for real. This is like delectable. Mm. I got a funny story. I was just thinking about this yesterday. Because, uh, I'm from the north, so we don't have a lot of uh, black churches and stuff like that. And we would go down to Mississippi because we have family, family ties there. And they would make us sing in the choir. Excuse me. This is just too good. All right. I would eat this every day. Well, let me try to. That's the best we're going to do. They'll make us sing in the choir. And I'm lazy. I was the youngest up until a point. So everything I did, you know how little kids do dumb stuff like. Anytime it's time to clean, I got to go to the bathroom or just making excuses to get out of uh, <laughs> to get out of any duties that you have to do. So it come uh, we in Mississippi, we singing in the choir for, you know, a few weeks and we just spent the, we just spend the summer vacation on there with, with my grandma and stuff. And um, <laughs> they want me to go up and do a solo. We went to some, we actually took like a, a road trip to Arkansas for some choir event or whatever. And <laughs> they wanted me to do a solo. So they wanted me to go in front of everybody and sing my little part. And me being the clever person that I am, when it was time to get up, I started faking a panic attack. I'm on stage 
faking a panic attack. Like, ah, 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 ah. And mind you, back home, you know, if you got a panic attack or whatever, people trying to calm you down, you know, they calm down the situation. Y'all, tell me why they turned up the music, they start jamming, and I'm I'm just freaking out on the floor, just, just trying to do my best. And I was, they was like, what's wrong? And I was like, I'm having a panic attack. I'm having a panic attack. And one of the ladies is like, child, that ain't no panic attack. That's the Holy Ghost. Yo, yo. <laughs> I'm just, I didn't trick myself into having the Holy Ghost. So what I <laughs> turned into the, the smallest little thing and not wanting to go on stage to making a whole big spectacle out of myself. <laughs> Told me I had the Holy Ghost. Man, this is a panic attack. Or it's a pretend one, but you get the gist of it. I feel like if you put that in cartoon form... That'll be to the hip. I didn't even need to have Levante. Levante come down and try these. Now come and get one of these. If you're in the Houston area and you know some spots, let me know so I can check them out. But I really wanted, um, Levante to be here when I talk about our Dallas trip. Now, mind you, oh, there is an update. I um, I had to take a few days off. Super duper, extremely sore for like four days. I could barely walk. My toe actually never fell off. My toenail never fell off. It's just black. Don't even hurt. I'm not even sore anymore. Um... And hopefully get back on my running soon. Everybody seemed motivated. They like, oh, we want to do a race now and stuff like that. So get everybody in a nice little run group. I know they have some uh, races out here. Be a whole, you know, cause fit group. Because when you're working out with each other, you kind of push yourself. I know Chunk and Levante, they push themselves when we go to the gym. Real hard. And, um... But man, oh man, that Dallas trip, that's something, that's definitely something we need to talk about in group form. Dallas is, uh, Dallas is something else. Uh, they be, they be wilding out there. Let's say the lead. I thought, I thought, get, uh, I thought, um, I thought Dallas was a, they said it was a posh Houston I'm like, them Dallas ones a little, uh, wow. I had to, uh, you know, a few times down there, like, we're just here to have a good time. We're just here to have a good time. <laughs> but, um, I dig it extremely sauced up which is cool but it's also mm, I felt like I have not missed having no hangovers at all whatsoever I told somebody I um I stopped drinking and they was like oh I'm glad you stopped your struggle with alcohol I said, struggle? Me and alcohol ain't have no struggle. We had a ball, baby. <laughs> we have a ball. <laughs> this little boy want me on camera so bad. Nah, um... Yeah, we be having a ball. I'm just uh, focused on uh, on some other stuff right now. Not on the party mode. Not on the super kick it party mode or whatever. 
on some grind it out, focus on your goal. But I'll be back. I do be having a ball. Ain't no struggle this way. I wonder how many times they're gonna come and get in this camera. I'm gonna zoom in every time they ride past too. Boy! If you don't get back, if you don't get, I wonder if y'all can hear them out there cheering. Y'all, it's been freezing, like super, like, uh, what, 40, not freezing, 40, 45 degrees. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go film my car. And today it is roasting. Well, it's 60, but it feels like 90 when you're sitting in a um, hot baking car. But I did really enjoy, uh, really enjoyed that vlog, and I want to, uh, really want to make, I want to start doing more vlogs again. It's just way more fun, way more fun to edit, way more fun to rewatch. Um, let me know if you agree. And, um... You know, at that point, like, I don't even care about the views when it comes to the vlogs because a lot of it is just really just a good time. You know, and it's something you can really just look back on and be like, yeah, we just kicking it. The worst thing about a vlog when you're kicking it, though, um, I was just talking with somebody about this the other day. When you do a trip like that and you start, you always start off vlogging and then it get into the night, you had some few drinks, <laughs> you, for you forget you was vlogging, so... You done cut out like eight hours and you were just in the morning like, yeah, we had a good time. <laughs> That's why you need a, a videographer or um, if people do take videos just of the night, they usually keep the camera upright so it won't like show up in whatever normal YouTube format. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I feel like I might have been going somewhere with that. Well, I'm not, but these kids over here just like making little faces. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give this an absolute 10. Um, this is really good food. This is really good food. And I'm glad. What should I title this? I don't even think I talked about nothing. I don't know. Look at my intrusive thoughts winning. But um, this is honestly really good. This is probably one of the best mukbang meals that I've had. I usually like to do... Some of the easiest stuff to do is like a um, seafood, you know, eat and talk. Um, what else? Oh, well, crawfish is seafood and wings. Some of my favorites to do. Just simple. But stay tuned. We got some stories coming for y'all. Well, at least about our trip. And, um, yeah, and it's crazy because as soon as I get back, my car start getting the hiccups. That's why I'm like, you know, I want to be more consistent with posting, but it's just sometimes you'd be like, what else? What's next? You know, as soon as everything start going right, your car get the hiccups. So... Anyway, y'all can cash at me at Levante Carson if you want me to get a new car, but uh, ain't no shame in my game. But now, um, for real, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, this is kind of just a spur of the moment thing. I had a, um, me and Levante had a day plan, but he, uh, he got some stuff he's going through, so, um, <laughs> that's, uh. I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for tuning in. Snoop TV. Keep my shit been going. Oh, see, no, you are not my bro. Please quit acting like you.